What if I told you there was a way to do cold outreach that had an almost 100% open rate? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a cold outreach secret that everybody else seems to be sleeping on. And when you combine AI and this secret outreach tool, then I promise even Fortune 500 CEOs are not gonna be able to ignore your message. All right, now here's why the method I'm going to teach you actually works. There's three main things that affect whether or not someone is going to read your cold outreach. And the first thing is volume. Volume is how many messages that a person gets on a given day on a specific platform. For example, as a marketing agency owner myself, I get hundreds of cold email messages every single week, and it can be difficult to get me to open and read one of these cold messages. And the platform that you're messaging me on matters a lot. If you send me a message on LinkedIn or email, then I'm probably not gonna open it. But if you send me a message on Instagram, then there's a good chance that you're gonna get a response. Now the second factor, personalization. If someone believes that a message was intended for them and personalized to them, then it is our human nature to want to see what's inside and reply. The trickier thing is getting the recipient to actually believe that the message is personalized. And this becomes even harder and harder because of all the AI personalization tools that are out there and accessible. So we as online marketers need to get more creative. So if you send me a cold email and it has a screenshot of my YouTube channel or a Loom video with my website in the background, you might think that you're being sneaky with your AI tool, but most entrepreneurs can see right through it. In fact, this might even backfire and cause them to lose trust in you. Now, just as an experiment, try sending 10 leads a truly personalized email after taking the time to research them and their business and then writing something unique by yourself. You'll probably get closer to a 50% reply rate. Now, the third factor, this is curiosity. Human beings can't help but to satisfy their curiosity. And there's a lot of different tactics to pique someone's curiosity, but these tactics only work if they're unique and original. Because if that lead sees that tactic used more than two or three times, it no longer works. And again, you can hurt your trust and credibility because it is not personalized. Now, just to kind of visualize this, we've got open rate on the Y axis and we're gonna start with volume on the x-axis. Now your open rate is actually going to increase as your volume decreases. The less volume somebody has to deal with when filtering through marketing messages, the better their open rate is going to be. And how volume and open rate have an inverse relationship, open rate will actually increase as personalization increases. Now this might sound obvious, but it can be really hard to do and it can be really expensive. So at this point, you might be asking yourself, all right, Jay, what's your point? Now I wanted to start off with that so you wouldn't just hear my answer on how to get 100% open rates, but not understand why. So how do you send a message through a channel that has low volume, where that person's not bombarded every day with cold advertisements? How do you do it in such a way that feels hyper-personalized so that they can't help themselves but to respond? And how do you do it in a way that piques their curiosity so that they don't have a choice but to open and read your message. Well, imagine for a second that you're a successful business owner and you just finished out clearing your inbox for the day, probably deleted a hundred cold emails, and now your office manager walks in and she puts six envelopes on your desk. Four of them are from credit card companies. They're trying to sell you new credit cards. One's an ad from Office Depot and it's got a coupon attached to it, but that last envelope is a thick, heavy envelope with a real stamp on it and somebody actually took the time to hand address it to you. They wrote your name, they wrote your address, and it's in their own handwriting in pen. Do you throw that envelope away with all of the others or do you open it? Well, I'm about to share my screen and show a $10 million secret that we've been using for years and it involves using ChatGPT, Zapier, and a secret website that's going to handwrite these letters for you and deliver them for you. And we use this tactic to warm up qualified leads, we close deals with it, and we even do cold outreach with it to Fortune 500 CEOs. Now before I share my screen and show you how to set this all up, I'd like to ask you to take two seconds and push on that like button on this video so YouTube shows you more money-making tactics like this one and less videos that are making you stupider. All right, so that secret tool that I mentioned is called Handwritten, spelled with an Y, not an I. Now this is not sponsored by Handwritten. I don't even have an affiliate link for them. So I'm just saying this is a tool that I actually use. It's the best in class and there's not a lot of competition in this space. And this is what the actual letter looks like. I found one that was returned back to me. So you can see me actually open this thing at the end of the video. But as you can see, it's addressed with my name, written in pen uh, to the, the person, the return address with an actual stamp 
this looks like a personal letter that I need to open. It's a high quality, heavy letter. We're gonna open this letter and see what's inside in just a second. So handwritten.com. Let's look at pricing for a second so you can see exactly how it works. So sending a card is gonna be about four bucks, 375, but you can get it down to as low as 325. In fact, I have one of their subscription plans. So I pay a set fee every month and this gives me a discount on the cards. This is something that I recommend doing, especially if you're gonna be sending a lot of cards, which I recommend doing, especially to high hot leads. If they haven't closed yet and they're interested in your service, send them one of these cards. They're almost guaranteed to read it. So what's so great about handwritten is because of the integration, I'm allowed to trigger a card to be written and sent using Zapier. And I'm going to show you how I set up that automation in just a second. But what you're going to need to do once you log in and create an account is come up with some of these templates that you're going to use. Uh, so you, just like a postcard, you're gonna design the back and the other side is going to be written on, just like this, with an actual pen, with actual ink, and it's going to look like it was written by a person. So once you've got a handwritten account, you've signed up for account, you've got some templates in there, let's go through and show you how to set up the automation that actually makes this all work. So I wanna show you this one because it's my most complicated automation involving handwritten. We've got several of these that are running in the background a few ways that you can trigger these automations and take these as ideas. I, we use all of these ideas separately. The first is sending cards to hot leads. So this is people that you actually talk to on the phone, on a sales call that are interested in your service. Now you want to send them something personalized to get them over the line, make sure that you're top of mind for them. And if they get a letter in the mail from you, from the salesperson, and they read it and they think it's handwritten, they're going to trust you a lot more and chances are they're going to sign up with your service. The second use case is reaching out to very high value individuals. So there's a lot of things that you can do with handwritten to generate leads by inserting QR codes and such. And Fortune 500 CEOs are likely to open their physical mail and read it, especially if it is written and addressed to them. So if you want to spend the money, $3.25 per outreach, and you can make more than that back, there's a very good chance that those Fortune 500 500 CEOs will read that letter, but you have to make sure that you have a good offer for them. You're going to get them to open it and read it, but the offer's not there and it's not aligned. They're not going to get that deal. So we've got warming up hot leads. So people you've talked to who you're trying to get a deal closed. We've got cold leads. This is people who are high value that you're trying to generate a lot of money to make it worth sending these letters. The third thing that we do with these is nurturing active customers. So people who already purchased with you, sending them a card like this as a thank you and saying, thank you for signing up. Thank you for being a part of our team and writing something personalized in there is a really good way to start that relationship off strong. We do this for new employees. We do this for new customers. And I do this for new people who join my insiders program. You'll get a card just like the one that I'm showing you as well as some swag for the insiders store, which you may have seen me in that headband or that polo. If you join the Insiders program, we'll get you some of that stuff as well. All right, so let's walk through this automation. We're in Zapier right now, and it all usually starts with a trigger. So this is a webhook trigger. And what's important to know about these triggers and about sending these cards is you are going to want some information on this person. The more information you have, the better message that you can write. So what I love doing is triggering one of these cards to go out after we collect more information on them. So for the example that I'm showing you, it's going to be after they fill out my course intake form. I learn more about their goals, where they're at now. And then this automation is going to write a custom letter based on their intake form. For our sales, when we're nurturing a hot lead, we get notes from our salesperson on what that person's goals are, we have a lot of information on that lead. So we use all that information to write a personalized letter, which is why this is so powerful. All right, so we catch that webhook. This is coming from a, from a go high level automation. Uh, ignore the sheet, because that's just for tracking. All right, now the first important component here is the conversation in chat GPT. Now I'm gonna read you my prompt, but if you want access to all my prompts and all my Zapier automations that you can copy, make sure to join my insiders program. So I always run on the, on the latest GPT model, and here's the information that I'm feeding it. Your goal to write a heartfelt thank you letter from me, Jay Feldman. The client signed up for my course, Cold Email and Lead Generation Secrets, and I would like to thank them for signing up. They also provided their reason for signing up in the user message. Please relate their reason to signing up to how the course will help them with their goal. Follow these rules. Output only the message. Use spacing between each idea. Output max five sentences. 
max 400 characters. Tone should be a friend talking to another friend. Ask them to hang up this card where they can see it so they don't forget to achieve their goal from the message. Do not add a signature. Use simple human language that is fifth grade reading level. Assume they know my name and the course name. Do not write them out in the letter. So that is my instructions to ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you in a second what type of outputs that creates. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this specific example is because I have students signing up from the USA and international. One of the things that you're gonna to need to be worried about as you are sending these cards out is that it's sending it to invalid addresses or international addresses that it doesn't understand. So this is how to counteract that and make sure that it's only going out to valid addresses. So first I have it going down two paths. One if it's USA and the other if it's international. That's a fairly easy path to build inside of Zapier. So the simple version, if they are USA address, we use a tool called LOB, L-O-B, L-O-B.com. If you wanna use this tool as well, it's L-O-B.com, integrates great with Zapier, validates addresses for very affordable prices. So we use LOB to verify that single US address. And then it will only continue if the address is deliverable. This way, I'm not wasting money sending cards to undeliverable addresses, even though this one did bounce back and said return to sender, mail undeliverable. So it's not perfect, but I will tell you, without this automation, you're gonna get flooded with these coming back. And now I only get like one back every two weeks. Finally, the exciting part, sending the card with handwritten. So we're gonna choose handwritten, send card. The sender details are going to be you. This is all pretty intuitive with address, your company name. Then you can put the recipient's name, the recipient's address, which I'll use from LOB since it's validated. And then you're gonna choose your template that you created. For, for this one, it's going to be insider's welcome. But as you can see, you can choose from multiple templates within this automation. Next, the writing style. So you can actually go and see a full list of writing styles to see how your handwriting will look on that letter. For example, if you're sending it from a woman, chances are you wanna pick a more feminine type of copy. But for me, I found one that resonates a little bit better with me, and the one that I tend to like is Executive Adam. Then you're gonna put that ChatGPT generated message down there in the message with a sign off, which is just like a, a quick signature for a letter. Lastly, this is really cool, and I don't use this in the course thank you automation, but for lead generation, this is absolutely amazing. You can give them gift cards automatically that will be inserted into the card. So if they feel that gift card inside of the letter, they're gonna be even more likely to open it. Lastly, you can send custom inserts like business cards or QR codes or magnets. All you have to do is send those to Handwritten and they will actually insert those into the cards for you. You do have to send those to Handwritten ahead of time and communicate with them about it. You can use a delivery confirmation. Now that delivery confirmation can then trigger another automation to say, hey, did you get my card? By email or however you want to send that to them. But this is a really powerful tool to follow up and actually confirm that they received the card. All right, and that is it for setting up the automation. Once that's triggered, it will ship the card to the lead and there's nothing else that you have to do. Now, one other thing that I'd recommend doing that I did for months before I let this go on its own. I had a step in this automation to actually send me an email with what it would say on the card before that card was sent. If your prompt isn't good, you do not wanna be sending people cards or cards that say really crazy things. So make sure that you're actually checking and seeing what these cards say. There's nothing worse than sending a lead a card that is clearly written by AI or irrelevant. Now for my international part of the automation, it's a little bit trickier because international addresses come in a little bit funny. People have cities and provinces and area codes are weird and countries are weird. So I actually have ChatGPT help me identify the city and then I use verify international address in LOB. And I do that by taking their full address and it needs their city as well as their postal code and country. So all of these things I pretty much have except the city because cities can be called weird things. So that's just a little workaround to help. Now, if you want to use this strategy to generate leads, cold leads and reach out to Fortune 500 CEOs, like I mentioned earlier, you can do that. You can pull Fortune 500 CEOs from Apollo. You can put them into instantly. Now what I would recommend doing instead of just sending a letter to every Fortune 500 CEO, because that's gonna cost you a fortune and you're gonna get a ton of letters bouncing back. What you should do instead is set up a cold email campaign and only the ones who either click or reply should get a letter. Now, if you're like, screw it, I wanna send a thousand letters and see what happens, you can grab their addresses from Apollo, enrich the data, and then using the industry and website description, write a different prompt in ChatGPT to help you create an awesome handwritten letter. But if you're gonna do that cold, I would also recommend adding an insert into your letter. 
a business card or a QR code or a picture of your family, something personal that's gonna get them to take action and come into your system. Now, my promise to you is if you use this for cold outreach, almost 100% of the people that receive this letter are going to open it. It's on you to get them to take action once they open it and once they read it. All right, so let's go ahead and open the letter so you can see what is inside. So that is what the letter looks like. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. So the first thing you see is like the backside of this. So make sure that you take the time on a nice design. And then let's read the content of this letter. Hey Sheldon, thanks a lot for joining. Hey Sheldon, if you're watching this, hello. It's awesome that you're aiming to create cold email lead gen and conversation automations. This course will give you the tools to do just that. Remember, your goal is to help your employer and clients. Hang this up somewhere. You'll see it and keep that goal in mind. You've got this. Look how good that looks. Look how good that sounds. So this is an absolutely unbelievable lead gen tool. It looks hyper personalized. And if you're a member of the Insiders program, you already know that we've been doing this uh, and you're hopefully doing this for yourself. This is just an example of how powerful marketing tools and automations when combined with AI can actually be. Now, let me ask you a question. Did you think that this was helpful, tactical? Is this something that can make you some money? Then you're not going to believe what tactics that I teach inside of my paid program. All of my automations, my prompts, they're inside of this program. So if you wanna save the time and just copy my proven templates, then you should consider joining the program. If you are interested, the link to join and get more information is in the description. And if you love cold outreach and you haven't already watched my four hour cold email masterclass, then you need to go watch that right now. Just click on the thumbnail somewhere on this video and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss another helpful video like this.